Hello internet, welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting the Liverpool squads, finances and overall setup in the brand new squeaky clean FM18. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date with all my Football Manager related content going forward. Now if you're curious to what I, what I look like and you haven't seen any of the videos before, here's a quick sneak peek. And if you don't believe me, that just gives you much, much more reason to subscribe. As in all of my other videos, I do show my video, my face. It's just not these ones because I'm keeping my eyes open throughout the night to try and bring you each and every one of these Premier League teams uh, hot off the press. But enough jibber jabber, I'll jump straight in with the start of the vid. Now then, now then, I could talk like that if I wanted to, like give it a crack with me uh, Liverpool accent, but uh, but I'll I'll probably not I'll probably not do that. You know, it's um, it's it's that's just showing how long I've been up trying to um, do these videos. So anyway, Liverpool, if you are a neutral, will be a cracking team to pick. Uh, now we've got rid of Klopp and his sloppy defendingness. He might be all guns blazing. But uh, maybe I'm going to come in here and do the business and uh, fix up that defence. But anyway, good team to pick uh, going forward. They've got money. they got a good squad. Uh, and I'm going to show you some of the key highlights anyway. Pre-season, Juventus at home. That's going to be a cracking match. And it looks like they're on the road uh, to hit some, uh, some, some other far eastern, well, eastern Europe anyway. Slavon Prague, MTK. I'm not entirely sure where that, that is. Looks like Budapest. Um, Glen Torren, that is that's Ireland. Um, so you know, not too crazy, but uh, uh, you know, they're a hot topic at Liverpool. So a lot of clubs would love to have them, even if it uh, pay them a visit, even if it is a preseason. Anyway, let's take a look at the crucial bit of business: transfer kitty, seventy-five million straight off the bat, and the board will allow you. 90% of any transfer dealings you make, and there are a number of players you probably want to get rid of considering they're sloppy defending. You can tweak it further, pushing it all the way up to 88 million should you choose to do so, but it will drastically reduce your 2.7 million uh, pound uh, wage uh, structure. Anyway, let's jump into the under 18s and take a look at who is. Uh, one for the future. Emeka Obi, Nigerian youngster, 16 years old. In fact, you've got a whole host of nationalities in here. I think this is a Bosnian right there. Dal Varanasovic, 16 years old. This German, Paul Glatzel. He could play pretty much anywhere up in the center of the park. Midfield, attacking midfield, and also a striker. So he could be pretty decent. His stats aren't that... Uh, hot. Um, I guess you could you could cycle through the players through so that I'll take a, a a donkey's age. But um, any other key players out there? I'm not familiar with the setup at Liverpool, so you know if there are some standouts out there like Diego Latti, is he pretty decent? Uh, he's got he's got you know the coach thinks so. Knocking on three stars. He is still young. Who's the most valuable player? Edvard Tagsef, 16 years old, uh, central midfielder. Um, only 108 pounds. He needs to put on some weight if he's going to make the grade. Anyway, into the under 23 squad. A lot of big name Charlies in here. Look at that. They've got six goalkeepers on there. Danny Ward, he's, he's not bad. Uh, he, he could do a job in the championship. Oh, Adam Bogdan. Well, he has uh, ties with Bolton, so not that, uh, he ain't that decent. Uh, who's this fella? Young Irish keeper, Andy Firth, and Shamal Gorge, or George, is on loan at Carlisle. Uh, pretty, pretty strong and extensive uh, under 23 setup here. Trent Alexander Arnold, he made the step up this season to uh, first team. Um, let's have a little sneak peek at him. 4.3 million he's valued at uh what about ben woodburn wanted by 18 clubs he is hot topic uh doesn't show his caps here which um i i know he has at least one and, and definitely a goal so he's probably got two, maybe three or four caps uh, right now look at his um stats though for a 17 year old this does remind me of michael owen um 
but you know the coach doesn't give him that much praise 18 clubs um, I still am trying to find my feet here uh, but he's a decent prospect for sure uh, in fact let's have a look at the value of some of these key players Derek Ogorilvi you know again I, I'm butchering his name um, um, Belgian international kind of took the World Cup by storm I believe uh, last time uh, in Brazil 2014 that's what got him the move to Liverpool but it never really it's never really gelled for him to be honest with you so he's now on loan at Wolfsburg trying to justify his call up for the coming World Cup uh, John Flanagan 10.75 million he's wanted by a couple of Premier League teams Shaji Ojo on loan Pedro Chirella not too sure about that fella Harry Wilson a lot of decent players work permit snafus here so that's something you got to bear in mind should you do the honors and take over take over um, Jurgen as for the main squad pretty tight pretty steady I think this is your 23 here a lot of wanted knocking around Sadio Mane what about Barcelona Madrid Firmino wanted by Barcelona, Walnaldum wanted by Paris Saint Germain. Look at Coutinho, not wanted by anybody. That's surprising. Joel Matip wanted by Spurs. Who's the most valuable player you got? Coutinho, 57 million. Mohamed Salah's in there. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at your contract expiries. That's uh, always an area that we really closer, keep a close eye on. American, uh, he's going to be sought after for sure and he's actually started the season in the real deal with um with liverpool and he started off pretty nicely uh let's go take a look at what the board's gonna have to say anything standouts here that uh that might be of some concern new no. our competitions okay let's have a gander here the board expect me to qualify for the European champions league they also want me to reach the final of the fa cup not too bothered about the league cup and they want me to go at least to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Uh, staff, yeah, that's one for another day. Here is Team Report. Uh, as I suggest in each of the other videos, if you want to take a read of this, you might want to pause the video because I cannot spend too much time on their squad depth. Um, realistically, they, are, they have got a lot of their bases covered, but we all know that this area here is of real concern. Their defense is shoddy. Um, Lovren, Matip, Clavin, he's, he's, he's been dogs since he arrived here. Matip's decent. Uh, Robertson's not been given a good crack of the whip. Uh, Nathaniel Klein's like sick note, um, and he uh, is a right back. So uh, Joe Gomez, same deal, not really had the best out of him. So, you know, some experience in defense could be an option, but the rest of the park, they are dancing. Let's take a look at the dynamics. Very good atmosphere in the dressing room. So that's something to um, to look at. Uh, this is your dynamics. Who have we got here then? Henderson and Milner seem to be the ones leading the line and possibly uh, your selection headache for captain. Should any of those two players leave, then you've got this core of seven players. Uh, a captain may arise out of that bunch. As for your social groups, um, again, these are probably where your mentors, uh, 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 this is probably a group of mentors in the making right here. Um, should any of the youngsters require some guidance, there'll be the, some players to be looking at for, um, mentorship. And as for morale, nothing too concerning, but nothing too perfect either. Very, some exceptionals here. Klein's pretty, pretty chipper about himself. Um... Look at this guy. He's perfect. He's in perfect morale. It's not like pretty, pretty, pretty good or really good or excellent. He's perfect. So that's something to, to write up about. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I've got for you for today on this video. Anyway, if there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, there's a team out there. Maybe you want me to do an overview of Juventus or Slavon Prague or MTK. Just let me know. Put it in the, in the comment section below and I'll try and get to it for you. Uh, it'll only take me a couple of minutes. Um, consider it my favor to you. And my favor 
on the flip side would be for you to hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date. Uh, and over the next few weeks, once the beta and the actual release of FA FM18 calms down, I plan to do some game saves, a few epic ones in the pipeline, so be sure to stick around. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.